You're watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Happening now as we head into winter, Central Maine Medical Center has announced a program that could boost the number of health care staff in our state. A dairy cow shot and killed on a farm in New Hampshire this morning. The cow's owners are looking for who's responsible. Right now it is 4.30. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Christina Frank. And I'm Kathleen Jordan. Today is Thursday, November 3rd. And let's start with your forecast as you get ready to head out the door. Meteorologist Radek Brzgotsky is tracking that for us. And Radek, what a week we have had. I know snow lovers aren't a big fan of it, but we are. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean... <laughs> We're, we're going to have to wait a little bit, of course, for that. But we are talking about a cold morning this morning. We're sitting into the 30s right now in Portland. Uh, in fact, we could see uh, 33 at the jet port, and we're seeing the dew point down to 29. So we still have room uh, to get uh, further down uh, below that freezing mark as we head into the next couple of hours. But over the next two hours, we'll be experiencing more sunshine and a quick recovery in terms of those temperatures back into the 50s and some 60s this afternoon. So you'll be wondering if it's November 3rd by the time you're coming back from work or school. Uh, but this morning, 27 in Freiburg. Good morning to you. Same number in Sanford. 27 Lewiston, Auburn at 25 Berlin, 32 even on the mid coast to Wiscasset. High pressure almost overhead. That is why we have this recipe for quickly cooling temperatures, but also quickly warming temperatures into the next several hours. And that's exactly what we'll be tracking. If you think it's going to be mild this weekend, wait till you see the numbers for this weekend. I've upped some of the numbers heading into uh, Saturday and then on Monday as well into early next week. So definitely stay tuned. We'll tell you all about it coming up, guys. Thank you. Summer is making a comeback in November. <laughs> 431 right now this morning, there's a new initiative to solve a nursing shortage here in Maine by helping future nurses enter the workforce. Our Adriana Sanchez joins us now live outside of Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston with the details on this program. So Adriana, how will this work? Good morning. So Central Maine Healthcare just launched this new program that could help nursing students save up to $22,000 in tuition costs. And there's right now, there's 40% of roles right here being vacant. So officials here hope that this will help fill those roles quickly. Now students who meet the performance. You're watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Torgerson. Well, listen, another beautiful day. Let's check in with meteorologist Sarah Long, who's tracking all of this wonderful weather for us. And Sarah, you know, maybe I'm overstating it just a little bit, but it is. Um, a, a, no? I don't think so. Okay, good. Yeah, Pleasant no. surprise then. I don't think you're over advertising. This is just such a beautiful stretch. I will say this was the coolest morning in this stretch, and we did have some frost out there uh, early. Uh, this morning for many locations, but not the case now. In fact, now we are looking at uh, temperatures climbing back towards 60 degrees and uh, winds about seven miles per hour, so not too bad now, but we do have some breezy days on the way. So for the rest of the afternoon, we've got sun, a clear night tonight, and another bright day tomorrow. Satellite radar picture looking rather quiet. And then as we move into the afternoon, we're climbing from the 40s and 50s back into the upper 50s and low 60s which is still above normal for this time of year, although... You're watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Thanks for joining us First at 4. I'm Megan Torgerson. And I'm Alison Ross. Here's what's happening now on Maine's total coverage. Starting off, the final debate for governor is tonight right here on WMTW. Monitor John Crisos tells us what to expect between Governor Janet Mills and former Governor Paula Page. A dangerous road in Gorham. Hear from the woman whose biggest fear is more people are going to die in front of her home. And Thanksgiving dinner for free. Jeff Rawson has the grocery app that will pay for your feast. More beautiful weather. Let's get right to meteorologist Sarah Long for our first check of Maine's total weather. Sarah, let's just keep it going. How about that? In fact, how about we warm it up a little bit? Today was actually still warm for November, but it was our coolest day in the forecast. Some towns not making it out of the upper 50s and others touching right around 60 degrees. We are clear heading into tonight. Covering now, attend a new program that could boost the number of health care staff in our state. More on how you could become a nurse and have Central Maine health care pay for your degree. And former Governor Paula Page weighing in on the heating cost crisis in our state. His thoughts on the HEAP cost assistance program as the Biden administration boosts HEAP's federal funding. 
And President Biden drawing a direct line from the Capitol riots to the attack on Paul Pelosi in the House Speaker's family home in San Francisco, calling on Americans to respect the democratic process. Watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Allison Ross. I'm John Creso. It's cooling down a bit out there tonight. Still mild, though, for this time of year. But, hey, Roger, we're looking at some more sun tomorrow, right? Yeah, absolutely, John. Enough tomorrow, another beautiful day. But you mentioned the cooling down. That's going to accelerate here in the next several hours because we've got very dry air on top of us. Right now in Portland, we're down to 44. But look at this. Sanford's down to 37. Well, we're covering right now at 11 a new program that could boost the number of health care staff in our state. More on how you could become a nurse and have Central Maine Health Care pay for your degree. Former Governor Paula Page weighing in on the heating cost crisis in our state. His thoughts on the heat cost assistance program as the Biden administration boosts the federal funding. And President Biden drawing a direct line from the Capitol riots to the attack on Paul Pelosi in the House Speaker's family home in San Francisco, calling on Americans to respect the democratic process. You're watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Alison Ross. I'm John Chris Jose. It is cool out there tonight, but we are looking forward to the return of some sun and lots mm -hmm. of it tomorrow. Let's get right over to Roger now with more on that. And, you know, it's hard to complain about the chilly weather when we have lots of sun to look forward to. Yeah, and that's the way it's going to be over the next couple of days. These big swings in temperatures, whereas it gets very chilly at night, and then it warms up nicely during the day. We've been watching the temperature fall throughout the